Hey everybody, it's Tanya Tomic, and today is my um, to be read pile, my TBR pile. Um, it's pretty big. I do have other books too, but they're not on the um, forefront. These are the ones that are on the forefront at the moment. Um, so I will just go through the books on this pile. Um, first one is Demon Freaks, and this one was lent to me by my friend Christopher Barnes, who plays Jay in Monos Returns. Um, he also is a filmmaker himself, and we made a film together, The Penance, and um, he's also been in a couple other films. Um, I know the one, um, Things 5, he, he's in that one. Um, anyway, so this is Demon Freaks by J.R.R.R. Hardison. <laughs> this says it's the night before the SAT test. Forces of darkness are stirring. So I'm not familiar with this author or anything, but Christopher recommended it, thought I would like it. So um, that is on my to be read list. And these are the these are the books that I currently have on my nightstand um, to be read. Um, the next one is Choose Your Own Mind. F Fest. I'm censoring in case there's little ones um, or or easily offended people. Um, and it's Super Giant Monster Time by Jeff Burke. It's sort of based on the Choose Your Own Adventure style books. And um, <laughs> there's some illustrations. And um, I want to get into this one. And there's, there's another one that I am in the middle of right now called Ocean of Lard by Kevin Donny, Donahy maybe, and Cart Carlton Mellick III. So Oceans of Lard. This is a um, not suitable for work cover, really. But <laughs> anyway, I'm in the middle of this one. And um, that one's pretty good, but I haven't gone through all the different um, storylines. You know how you go through and you start over and you pick the different ones and you try to get all the storylines? I haven't done that. Um, I'm also halfway through this one, Mr. Know-It-All by John Waters. And this is um, a nonfiction. He basically um, goes in here... Um, and each chapter is a little bit about um, different, it's about his life, but there's, um, each chapter goes into either a movie or a project that he was working on and his thoughts and his uh, things he's learned from that. And I actually went to his book, um, book reading, thanks to my friend Leslie, who, um, got me tickets to that and I actually got to meet him and he signed my book and I actually got to talk to him about um, a mutual friend George Stover because um, I adore I adore, adore adore George he was in my film Monos Returns and he was also in a, a bunch of John Waters films he was in um, Desperate Living he was in um, Female Trouble and I think he was supposed to be in Polyester but he was cut out but he showed me a, um, a a still from that and um it was cool because I got to talk to him about George and John Waters perked up at George's name and I thought that was so adorable and I was there with my friend Clark and it was a fun time the other book that I just started I always do this do you do this I start books and I end up being in the middle of several books at the same time and then I kind of um, go back and forth between them. I don't know why, but I do. Uh, the Tale of Rawhead and Bloody Bones by Jack Wolf. This one, um, I don't really know too much about. I just started, so I'm not like into it yet. But I did pick it up because I like the old timiness of it. Like it's sort of written in old timey fashion. And I also love, I'm obsessed with old fairy tales and folk tales. I collect volumes of fairy tales and folk tales. Um, I like seeing them in movies. I, I 
my very first film was based on an old girl Grimm's fairy tale and I'm very influenced by them I feel like they were very cautionary tales sort of the old horror stories horror stories of old because I do believe there is a genre of horror films that are cautionary tales and it kind of serves the same purpose and I also believe that urban legends are sort of the new um, folk tales of now because those are passed down in oral tradition anyway blah 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 um so that's why this interested me a little bit and um just started it so I don't really know much about it yet um the next one is Lovecraft short stories um I have read a bunch of these um but I'm going through and reading some more I I don't think I'm gonna like read it cover to cover kind of thing you know I've, I've read like a bunch of short stories I'm gonna go in and read some more and it'll, it'll probably take me a while before I finish this entire book um but I am reading it currently also to get ideas for a possible film project I don't even know okay so and then the last one here that um are kind of my current reading pile is Archie versus Predator because I love Archie and I love Predator and um, it looks campy and fun um, I I do I have other Archie I collect Archie crossover stories um, somewhere in my stuff is is an unopened Archie versus the Punisher but I don't I've never read it and I don't know where it is and maybe I lost it because I've moved like 15 times or more um, in my life so I have no idea if it even got stolen from me or lost or whatever but maybe I'll find it someday and maybe I'll open it and read it I never have I bought it new and never opened it because I just couldn't bring myself to open it but now I kind of wish I had it and could open it anyway I am totally rambling Archie vs Predator looks like camp some campy fun um I like the new horror Archie comics and um, anyway, so that is it for my chibi red pile. What I will do is I will update as I read along and let you know what I think of the books as I finish them. Um, let me know if you want any updates in the middle of or any in-depth reviews or if you have any suggestions on what I could add to my pile. Um, that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching.